Hello, everyone. This is uh, Doug Davis, broker in charge at Karambi Realty, and here with another Ask Doug. And um, if you like our video today, please uh, like us on the channel. Uh, would appreciate that um, if this is good content for you. Um, I'm here with Julie. She does, um, among so many things, she does uh, a lot of our uh, company escrows and does the processing, the timeline, and all the little parts that uh, happen with an escrow. But today we wanted to talk about a, a very unusual component of a particular escrow that we have just finished up with. And that's, uh, what's the building name? Uh, KLLI. KLLI, which has a insur master insurance shortfall. It's it's one of these new things that's happening to uh, Hawaii real estate. And what this is, is an uh, insurance shortfall, meaning that the master insurance, uh, and I'm just going to make up numbers, has insured the building for $20 million, but there's no way that they could re replace the building for $20 million, and it might need a hundred million and thus the shortfall. So what has happened is the insurance companies are are looked at and have evaluated uh, many of the buildings, if not all of the buildings in Hawaii and say, hey, there's just no way that this would, would cover a catastrophic event. So they're saying you have to insure to, you know, dollar per square foot, what we think would... Uh, uh, give you 100% coverage should there be an earthquake and the building's demolished or a tsunami, um, hurricane that blows out every unit, that kind of thing. So that's what this is all about. So the mortgage uh, companies got wind of this and said, hey, uh, if you don't have a, uh, proper insurance or sufficient insurance, we can't lend to you. Oh my gosh. So there's apparently over a dozen buildings, if not more by now, that are offline. So they they can't can't get a mortgage, can't sell your place unless you have a cash buyer or what we did. So uh Julie, you can explain our particular dilemma and how that was resolved. Sure. So yeah, uh sometime last year we you know, caught wind of um, what Doug was talking about. Um, and we received a list. It wasn't an official list, um, but a list of buildings that, um, which was pretty, it was definitely more than 12. It was pretty, pretty, pretty extensive um, that were going to be affected by this. And so I know we were getting ready to sell KLLI. Um, so um, we actually have a local um, mortgage broker that we work with quite a bit. And we reached out to him just to ask, you know, is there anything we can do here? And he actually said, yes. So you can't get that conventional loan on it, but there is a program that he knew about that, um, that will lend on this. It's a mainland lender, but he can work with that lender as well. So whenever we had this um, knowledge, so whenever people came through the open houses or we had a showing, um, we let them know about this program. I just interject on sure. here. So she said mortgage broker as opposed to a banker. So uh, uh, if you go to a banker, they can only do their portfolio loans. They're only their package of uh, loans that they can do as opposed to a mortgage broker who can go to the mainland even like this happened. And and maybe they have 40, 50, 60 uh, places where they can um, get uh, loan money. So mortgage broker is a place to go, just to make that distinction there. Exactly. Um, so, so yeah, that was really helpful because obviously if a cash buyer came through, it wasn't um, an issue, but um, we could make these buyers feel better. And now, um, so we had this buyer come through and we sent him all the info. We had him speak directly to um, our local broker and and yeah, we just were closing on Friday and um, it honestly was a super smooth transaction. 
and we didn't have it, any issues with the with the loans. And and tell me about the. Um, we were on the listing side. Correct. We knew that this was an issue. Correct. Not, not everyone in the brokerage community would necessarily know anything about this. So right. how, how did that work out? Right. So some um, agents I came across are aware of um, this new issue and some are not. Um, most buyers definitely were not. Some actually I, I do come across that they are aware of um, this issue. But um, yeah, and it was almost just like this little speed bump. He was like, oh, okay, I can't get a conventional. Here, I was like, here is this info. and. Yep, they so you help steer the yeah the buyer's agent to yep. the right place to go. Exactly, and I think it's just having that knowledge. It's not um, some people get scared when it's like, oh, this is an issue. It's, it wasn't so much an issue; it was more just like, oh, it was a, just redirecting to a different um, type of loan. There you go. Okay, so that's how um, good brokerage can help you and and your clients uh, navigate uh, landmines that come up all the time in the brokerage community. So there you go. Um, hope that was useful information and um, uh, let us know if we can help you with your snafus, uh, your real estate needs, uh, buying, selling, or property management. Love to help you with any of that. Don't forget to like us and uh, keep those questions coming. Till next week. Thanks so much.